something I see around in society quite a lot and culture and that's this idea of people wanting change to be like an immediate thing, like an instant thing. Like there's loads of fad diets in there that tell you you're going to lose loads of weight in a, in a week. There's, there's loads of get rich quick schemes. There's even like these life gurus who are saying they can change someone's life in seven minutes. I, I'm just not convinced. Um, I think people are hoping that there's some sort of magic wand, some sort of genie in a bottle that you can just make a wish to and instantly life changes and you change. But I'm really glad that there isn't a magic wand and there isn't a genie in a bottle. I'm really glad about that. Because actually there's something about change that's really important and that is that change needs time. Change needs a process. The journey of change is more important for us than the destination at times. Uh, there was a film that I used to love when I was a kid called Big, starring Tom Hanks. And uh, it's a story of this 12 year old boy called Josh. And he basically, um, he's trying to impress this girl that he's really into and uh, he's in front of her trying to impress her and he can't get on, he's, he can't get on this roller coaster ride at a fairground because he's too small. So he goes along to this other thing and it's frustrated, angry. He makes a wish to be big. He makes a wish to be taller, to be, to be more grown up. And uh, obviously as the story in the film goes, he wakes up the next morning and overnight he's been transformed into a 30 year old man. He wakes up in this big body that he doesn't really know what to do with, his mum doesn't recognise him, he has to kind of run out of the house. He's scared, he's frightened, he's got no clue what to do with this change that's been completely thrust upon him. And eventually he kind of works it out through the story and he convinces his best mate that he is who he says he was and he, he kind of has a little go at trying to be an adult, gets a job, ends up in a relationship, all this kind of stuff, but in the end his desire to be back as a 12 year old boy just grows stronger and stronger and stronger as the film goes on. And I think that's kind of how change is for us. We want this instant immediate change, but if we got it, could we really handle it? Or would we actually, would it all be too much for us? Would it all be too soon? Would we just want to go back to our old life? And you might wish there is a magic wand, um, but I don't think there is and I'm glad there isn't one because if there was I don't think I could handle it and I don't think you could handle it I think actually what we need is that process we need the journey of change we need to be able to walk from how we are now and what we've got going on now to how we want to be and who we want to be and how we want to be and that bit in the middle that journey is the really really important bit